Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to water bath can bruschetta. Bruschetta is an Italian meal that normally you put tomatoes and chicken served over pasta or rice or just by itself. It's an absolutely wonderful meal. And I have about eight quarts of tomatoes that I've been able to gather up over the past couple weeks that I'm going to go ahead and can some up. My beautiful daughter is going to be assisting me with this. And yes, this is a water bath canning method, not a pressure canning. I will be using my pressure canner as a water bath canner. So let me introduce you to my daughter's hand as she adds the ingredients. So the first ingredient we're going to add is four tablespoons of sugar. And this is going to make eight quarts. Five cloves of garlic per so there's 10 cloves of garlic I'm actually doing two recipes next we have my home dried basil leaves and you can use fresh you're just gonna need a lot more fresh than you do dry so keep that in mind and uh, you're gonna have to bruise it up pretty good this is Greek oregano instead of regular oregano because that happens to be what I grow and again it's four tablespoons do you see a method here? Everything's four tablespoons. This is balsamic vinegar. Make sure you get a halfway decent one because it will affect the flavors and everything. One cup of just plain old water. And then next is uh, two cups of dry white wine. I am using the dry white wine that I made, but feel free to go ahead and replace that with water if you'd rather not or don't have wine on hand. Wine just gives it that little extra bit and the alcohol will be cooked out. And then the last ingredient is two cups of white wine vinegar. You can use vinegar. Um, I would definitely reduce it to a cup and a half and add a half a cup of water because it's going to be much stronger than this vinegar. And then all we're going to do is we're going to bring... Okay, so it looks like we've got it boiling. It's been boiling for about five minutes. And you boil it for that long so that it releases the aromas and fragrances of the herbs in there. I've got my pressure canner pot going. I'm going to do a water bath. Not a pressure canning because it's tomatoes. And uh, um, I'll be putting them in there. And I have my lids simmering on the back of the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the jars now and uh, get these canned up. All right, so you want to keep stirring this as you're pouring so that you keep the herbs. You want to keep them moving in the liquid so you get them evenly dispersed. Now I don't have room for one of these jars, so it is going to go in the refrigerator. And you want to make sure that you do this so that you get all the air bubbles out. Because you could have a jar bottom blow out on you if you leave big air bubbles in here. Usually your tomatoes are too far spaced out to worry about that. But it's a good habit to get into. We're going to go ahead and pour some more in here. Now this leftover you can put it in the refrigerator to use. You can freeze it however you want to do. Very important because you use so many herbs. Wipe it really good across the top rim to make sure you're going to get a good seal because these little dry herbs can kind of stick everywhere. Like our magnet. Oops, I'm going to have to get another one. Sarah, can you get me another one, please? Daughter of mine, can you get me another one? Thank you. And we'll get these in the pressure canner. So that one is the one that's not going in the pressure canner. 
and we're going to process these for 20 minutes in the water bath canner. Okay, they've been boiling for 20 minutes. Now it's time to take them out. We're going to let them cool on the counter for overnight. And we have bruschetta. One of the nice things, uh, bruschetta has lots and lots of spices in it. So it's a really nice change of pace. And when tomatoes are se in season, it's so nice to store some up for later. And there we go. When they are cool off, I'll take the rings off and I'll wash them in soapy water and then put the rings back on to transport and take them off for storage. Let's give you a close-up of them. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Blessings. <laughs>